we don't have enough money coming in regularly to make to, to pay bills as quickly as we'd like to. So the money owed to the school district, the money owed to the county, um, to the extent that I, I knew a little bit about this coming into it, but not to the detail that I would now know as a mayor. And, and it has to do with cash flow. So we are, we're, you know, we're meeting those obligations as we can with, with our revenue. So right now, you know, the beginning of the year, tax money's coming in, water bills are being paid, sanitation fees. When cash flow really starts to get tight is when it starts to warm up. And the city has to prioritize what it's going to do with the amount of money it has on any given day. And that's, you know, essentially making payroll. And this has been a struggle, uh, not just for me, this is a struggle that the previous administration had. I heard about it, but never really knew to the extent. Um, but we have a fiscal advisory group. We have a transition team where we are addressing these challenges and understanding, you know, first of all, understanding what they are, you know, what causes them, and then figuring out ways that we can make it a little bit easier. I mean, we've got a finance department that the, these, these folks who work very hard, you know, they can only do so much with the amount of money they have on any given day. And so we hold vendors off for a considerable amount of time where, you know, you make the argument, do we pay a vendor or do we pay an employee? We pay the employee first. And uh, as we really get a clear picture on this, then we can start to look at some of the not only short term, but long term solutions, planning out, doing multi-year budgeting, doing many of the things that probably just haven't been able to happen uh, as efficiently as, as, as they could be. And, you know, my feeling is, is that, you know, I was elected to a four-year term. I've got four years to help kind of turn this around a little bit, and we're going to do that. I mean, I'm, I'm confident of that. Uh, but the other thing that, that is most pressing, other than the day-to-day the -day operational deficits of cash flow, is the $11 million we owe our fund balance. We have an $11 million fund balance deficit that Moody's, who is our investment rating service, is looking at the city literally as we speak. They are going to be doing something with our bond rating. They want to know what our plan is. And it, it, it appears to me that there has not been a plan in place to address that. And that's a shortcoming, but it's also a shortcoming that is a bit overwhelming to, to, to try to, to put something into place that we're going to be able to demonstrate to Moody's and, and people who will, you know, are the borrowers, the people that we go out to the bond market to, to, to get money from. It's like, all right, Poughkeepsie, what are you going to do about this $11 million that's just you owe? So we have to put a long-range plan together. We have looked at a lot of different options, all painful, uh, all not without um, uh, altering the way we do business as a city government. But if we don't do that, and yeah, I hate to use the phrase of you know kicking the can down a row. Well, we can't continue to kick that can because it is it is hurting us uh, fiscally, and we need to demonstrate to Moody's and to others that we are going to put together a strategic plan to deal with that fund balance deficit, and then in addition also deal with other other challenges. So we've got a lot going on, but the good thing is, is we've got a lot of great people who are working on this, and I'm very confident that we're going to turn it around.